in this problem, we're being told that H and G are parallel lines, and they're cut by a third line, uh, something we call a transversal. When you have a figure like this, you get some interesting relationships between the angles, and we can figure them all out. If we know one angle, we can figure out all of the angles using our knowledge of vertical angles and linear pairs. In this case, we've got some expressions with variables down here, and our job is to find the values of z and y. I think the good first step is to figure out all of the angle measures in this figure. Um, first of all, I'm going to use what we know about vertical angles. If this one on the top left is 67, and they're telling us that it is, then this one has to be 67 as well. And then let's use what we know about linear pairs. Here is a linear pair, the 67 in this part right here. Linear pairs always add up to 180, so all I have to do is subtract 67 from 180, and that would give me 113. And then I've got another vertical angle down here, and this is 113 as well. So in a figure like this, where these two lines are parallel, you're only going to have two measures, uh, a smaller angle and a bigger angle, and um, uh, they'll be the same here as they are down here. So we can fill in the same information here. This one's got to be 67. This one's got to be 67. So whatever 3y minus 26 is, it equals 67. And then this has to be 113. And this has to be 113. OK, so we know all of the measures of the angles now. And actually, we found z. z equals 113. To find y, we just have to solve this equation. We have 3y minus 26 equals 67. To solve this, I can add 26 to both sides. So let's see. That would give me 1393 equals 3y. And then to solve for y, we're going to divide by 3. And we get y equals 31. So that is a little bit of work with um, parallel lines cut by a transversal and uh, solving some simple equations.